All right, so today we're going to be doing a controller swap on this EasyGo uh, TXT PDS model. Um, year is 2005. Um, EasyWay tells the PDS model. It has the forward reverse right here on the dash, opposed to being down here, the little swing knob. So let's get started. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the, well, first thing we're putting to put into the toe. Then we're going to remove the positive and negative. And I've already zip tied them together, so I know all these wires are going to go right back over to the positive. Negatives off, positive off, it's in tow. So I went ahead and took out all the other screws and I left one in just to show you. So you have one right here, I did have one on this side. There's actually two on the bottom. I already moved all three, so all we're gonna do is take out this one. Now that I got the bolt out, it slides forward. Now we can go ahead and unplug this. The cart's already in tow, but it doesn't matter because there's no voltage going to it. Um, so you can just unplug it right here. Then the whole shield comes out. Okay, so here is the controller. Um, it's a lot simpler to get to than you would think. Um, so we just, you wanna take a picture before you do this, but I go ahead and unplug everything. And then you got two more down here. That one. All right, so now I've got it all unplugged. Now we're going to uh, remove the cables. So 13 millimeter on both sides. All right, I've already loosened them, but you just get your wrench and then just, you can just loosen them. If it's rotating on the other side, then obviously put one on this side, one on this side, and then break it loose. So now I'm just gonna Go ahead and get these off by hand. Um, let me in, do this and I'll start the video back up. I already, already pulled the nut off of it, so these are ready to come out. Then just save your hardware, you just set on top of the battery. So now that these are out of the way, now we can get the solenoid out. Um, that one's 11 millimeter, and you can usually just squeeze this guy into there. One side slides out, and the other one has it come completely off. Got that nut out, so now, now it slides out. Now you just push it forward, out of the way. Now we have two more bolts, one right there, and one on the other side. Uh, both of those should be a 10. Now that I got both of them out, I just had to pause the video to get a hand on it. Now they're both out, this piece comes out. Now we just have the controller. We've got two bolts up top and one on the bottom. Let's see if I can get an angle on it. There it is, one on the bottom. So I'm just gonna zap those out and then the whole thing comes loose. All right, got all the bolts out. Now this thing just comes right out. And then we're gonna go ahead and replace it with the remanufacturing one. We're going to get it installed. All right. I know it said it was remanded. It's not. It's actually a used one off another golf cart. Uh, but we know it's good. So that's why we're swapping it out. Um, hand threaded. Last one down here. good so now we're gonna go ahead and put that plate back on right there and we're gonna put the two bolts we have over here for it got the bracket in place hand threaded them all right bracket should be tight it is so now we're gonna swing the solenoid back up here. Now we're gonna have to rotate it to where it slides in. 
over here first. Then we light up the second hole. Now I'm gonna use my saved hardware. Get it hand threaded. There we go. That should be 11. side but was able to squeeze it in now the solenoid side i like to do it this way obviously i don't want to take all these wires out when i can easily just slide it forward now i'm going to go back to my picture and start getting everything um right up here in the right spot but we can go ahead and start plugging in all the harnesses um here is the main harness this one's for where the cover plugs into, and we have the ones down here. I'm in little trouble seeing the ball, the plugs, there it is. Got that one in. This bottom one's a little bit of trouble. there okay so we got the harness plugged in and all the places it was before now we're gonna get these wires in the right spot all right okay so i've hand threaded them now i'm going to take my 13 millimeter and go ahead and tighten down these three bolts here i've already double checked my wiring harness everything is there plugged in um, this is the last thing we're going to do before we put the cover um, over this and plug it in all right, now I've got them all tight. They're not going anywhere. Everything's plugged in right. Now we're gonna take our cover here, get the wire from inside here, and I'll plug it in. There we go, snapped. Okay, so now we're all plugged in. Uh, I'm not gonna mount this up just yet. What I'm gonna do is actually leave it in tow and then I'm gonna go ahead and put my terminals back on there before I flip it over to run. All right, hand threaded them on there. Got my positive, negative there, ready to go. I'm gonna zap them down. Make sure these are tight and they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on. I'm gonna get at least one bolt on it just to hold it in place. All right, got the one bolt holding that cover in place. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over to run. Go to our dash, turn the key on. So we're in forward, just want to touch the gas pedal. Yep, she's running. Check reverse. Yep, she's driving. Uh, looks like whoever owned this car before disabled the reverse buzzer. So, going to turn it off. And then, we're going to go ahead and get... Now, this only came with two bolts. Um, so, we're going to replace it with the two it came with. Go ahead and zap those down. Now that the cover's on, it's all done. So now the customers are running golf cart again. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I'll be posting more videos of repairs, upgrades, and etc. Um, don't forget to like the video, guys. Thanks for watching.